Welcome to Seven Rivers Sports. I'm your host, Terry Erickson. This week, an inside look into sports, into wellness, and into fitness. Well, this week, the spotlight on the West Salem Panther football program, one of the very best in the Cooler region, as you well know it. At three of our guests, student athletes Luke Knoll, Jack Haley, and Noah LaFleur. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks, Thanks Terry. For as we uh, tape the show here on October 13th, the Panthers just finishing a big game against Toma. Homecoming game, big game. Everybody, the, the fans were uh, there, the standing room only. And they're preparing to close out the regular season. A big game uh, at Holman. I predicted, we worked the game, it was our game of the week. I predicted that a wounded animal is dangerous, a panther. You were the wounded animal coming off a loss to River Falls. In a game, by the way, with me, other media, I predicted the Panthers would beat the Wildcats at River Falls. It did not happen. But you redeemed yourself, Noah, at home. In fact, you were one of our players of the game against Toma. Talk about that. Uh, yeah, it was great to uh, end up having, uh, you know, kind of a salt in the wound feeling and uh, get back, you know, just like we do every other week, um, back on Monday, um, getting ready for the next game, and that's exactly what we did. And it helped having homecoming around um, to kind of lift spirits and get everybody amped up. How difficult was that, knowing that it was the conference title on the line, even though there's still a chance, you're right, one game behind River Falls, Jack, how difficult was that you know, getting beat fa fairly soundly and then that bus ride home? Oh, it was tough, especially it was a three-hour bus ride, too, just having to sit in there and think about that the whole way back. But, yeah, at the game, it was really tough. We were coming in, we were expecting a great game, and when things started not going our way, it just was kind of a little depressor on the sideline. I imagine. Well... We're going to talk about Luke Knoll and your injury, but look, before we do that, West Salem football, starting with Wayne Sackett, who I knew quite well as, as your head coach, and now Justin Yang. West Salem football, always uh, a hallmark of excellence, uh, going way back. Describe the culture of West Salem football, Luke. I feel like what we got in West Salem is pretty good because we dedicate a lot of our time to the weight room and having great like athletes in our district and I feel like our coaches encourage three sport athletes and multi athletes very well and that's what I feel like makes our team very successful. I know the, the journey to become a student athlete as excellent as you guys are, are in all three sports, three sport athletes, begins at a, year, a, a young age. All of you began uh, your introduction to sports when you were very young. Let's go back down the yellow brick road, starting with you, Luke, about your, your first introduction to athletics when you were young. Yeah, I started, it was a long time ago when my, I started doing sports, and I think my, my dad and my parents always thought of always doing hard work and always trying my best in my, in my sports. And I felt like that's what really shaped me into the athlete I am today because of my parents. So did your parents, <laughs> did your parents give you the idea that, you, Luke, you need to be the hammer, not the nail? Is that what you mean by hard work? Yeah, kind of. That's what um, my running back coach always tells us in high school is to always be the hammer, not the nail. And always, always be the one that's attacking and not being the one that's getting pushed down. Exactly. Well, I know Jack, an excellent three-sport athlete, too. We've watched you play. You've been uh, part of our game of the week, and we've talked about your athleticism. You started when you were young. Yes, I did. My, uh, I mean, my dad just being the tennis coach at UWL, that's what I'd started with. And since then, I, he always wanted me to play as many sports as I could and started with basketball and football, and I played baseball for a while, too. And that eventually got to be too much, so we just quit baseball and went to focus on tennis. But yeah, I've been playing them all since I was really young, and I've always enjoyed all of them, and they've been a big part of my life. So, so I'm sure people recognize your athletic skills when you were young, too. 
And you talked about uh, tennis, and I, I read some of the material, your profile on how you've excelled in the sport of tennis. Mm -hmm. One of the better tennis players in the area, along with one of the better football players and basketball players. Do you have a, do you have a one that you like, enjoy the most? Um, I'm going to say tennis just because that's what I've been exposed to the most and what I've been playing for the longest and probably what I exceed at the most. But, yeah, I, like I said, I enjoy all the sports I play, and they're all really important to me. Well, and you have the athletic ability to maybe play multiple sports in college. It kind of remains to be seen. Yeah, I mean, that would be great. Right now, I'm, I'm still looking around, but my hope is to play tennis somewhere, so I'm still looking around for that. Well, there's a place called UWL with Bill <laughs> Haley, the head coach. Yeah. Well, maybe you don't want to play for your dad. It's always an option, but I don't know. I've been around this area my whole life. It would be nice to get some new scenery. So take a leap of faith and go somewhere else? Yeah, exactly. Well, Noel LaFleur's dad played for me when he was young, close to the family. And it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, I'll tell you, all three of you. But knowing your family like I do, knowing your grandparents and so on, growing up in, on the north side of La Crosse. And uh, you started your athletic career probably a little ways away from here. Yeah, uh, my dad ended up getting stationed uh, in Fairbanks, Alaska. And um, that's where my athletic career kind of began. Uh, had me and my sister up there. And uh, ever since I was about four or five, I uh, was thrown into some skates, started with t-ball, tried just about everything under the sun, and uh, ended up falling in love with hockey and football. Um, moving down here, football became uh, kind of part of the bigger picture um, down here, whereas in Alaska, hockey was always king, and I love both those sports, and then I ended up picking up track as well in, in the past year, two years. I see that football, hockey, track, uh, fishing team. Yep. I didn't, I didn't know what sound about a fishing team. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just enter in one or two tournaments. We did an ice fishing tournament last year. It's a lot of fun must be one of the only schools in the area I've ever heard of as a fishing team. Yeah, uh, actually, I think Mitch Hammes implemented it um, a while back. Uh, he was a hockey player. Um, he had a passion for fishing, and uh, my cousin and I, Isaac Olson, caught wind of it um, and started it back up. I talked to your dad after the uh, game we worked last week against Toma, the game that you won, won very easily. We talked about that, but yet... Uh, you, you were my player of the game because of your, uh, uh, your ability to, to uh, what I call hero, some hero tackles, meaning unassisted, where you, you sell the farm and go out and make hits. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, also your ability to kick extra points. There's a kid that I think our viewers know by the name of Ryan Byrne that is one of the best kickers I have ever seen uh, at UWL. And uh, maybe there's, he's a senior. Maybe there's room for you to take his place next year. Yeah, uh, I, I honestly don't know where the kicking thing came from. I tried it in practice once, and uh, our special team coach wanted me to do it again, and it planted me where I'm at today. <laughs> Jack Haley, well, uh, football, basketball, tennis, honors in all three sports, highest honor roll. So you uh, personify student first, athlete second. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's also because... I mean, that's just instilled in me by my parents. That's, they always say I can't go out and play basketball with my brother until my homework's done. Or I can't, like we have a little shed with a tennis net in it, I can't go over there until I've studied for my test. Or if my grades are down, I, no, they have some sort of punishment for me. But <laughs> that's, always, that's always been my first priority. It's a pretty good style of parenting, I think. <laughs> yeah. So they, do they actually check your homework, too, then, to make sure you got it all done? Or do they trust you? I mean, they trust me. I know, I know they check my grades, but I think they trust me at this point. Do they point. need to check your grades? Probably not. No. I mean, National Honor Society, uh, which is your main leadership uh, club that you're involved in. Uh, yeah, it's just like, it's just volunteering, pretty much. I didn't, it's just the only other club I'm in besides sports, so... That's well, is there a service that. component to it? Yeah, absolutely. We have to, I mean, we have required amount of volunteer hours we have to do every month, and 
yeah, it's just nice to do, nice to be a part of. Well, and you're, you, all of you are in um, service-related uh, clubs. For example, uh, Luke playing the three sports, and your honors in wrestling, your honors in uh, highest honor roll, captain, appointed by your coach as a captain. That says a lot about who you are right there. Yeah, I believe <clears throat> it was a great honor for me to be a captain because it shows that my teammates have trust in me and my coaches do, and that makes me feel really good as a, as a player that I know that I have my full trust in my teammates and my coaches. Highest honor roll, but in addition to that, your leadership is, is sort of uh, taken to another level by being part of a football leadership class. A lot of our viewers probably would, don't really know what that is. Can you share that? Yeah, it's something that Coach Yain implements early in our high school careers, and he, he says that we need to get in some leadership classes to show how to be a leader, and he says that even if you're not a captain, you can still be a leader, and I think it shows how, how good of a coach Coach Yain is by implementing as many leaders as he possibly can on the team. I know, I think that started with Wayne Sackett. He had uh, some leadership classes he, he taught. And, of course, uh, Noah, you're part of that same football leadership class. What's, what's your biggest takeaway from that class? Uh, yeah, I think <coughs> excuse me, um, that the, the bond that it brings, brings to the team with everybody becoming a leader and all having the same goal in mind really helps. Mm -hmm. And so how do you want students around the West Salem High School knowing that you're a student athlete and you're on a platform as a student athlete, how do you want them to view you when you're around the school, around the campus, around the community? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, like you said, we're all on a platform, but I don't think we consider ourselves any better than anybody else in, within the school. We just have an important role on Friday nights and throughout the week. Um, and that's that's football. Well, you're not you're not better than anyone else, and you don't. I, I recognize that that's not your personality, but you are in a uh, you know on a platform where younger people uh, and throughout the community are, are watching you. So that's uh, right there uh, a huge uh, honor and something you need to hold and live up to. So, well, we're going to take a break just for one second. We come back more here on Seven River Sports. When you're faced with the decision of selecting a monument to honor someone dear to you, call Lewiston Monuments for a no-obligation consultation. Lewiston Monument is a full-service monument company, serving families in Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin for over four generations. You'll find beautiful granite, marble, and bronze memorials, all at competitive prices. Their experts can help you design the perfect and unique memorial. Lewiston Monument. Call today or on the web at lewistonmonument.com. You know, the thing I'm most proud of when I think about our company is the reputation that we've been able to build in this community. Our technicians have done a great job going out and performing magnificent jobs for the customer. And our customers have rewarded us with some really great reviews online. We have over 150 five-star reviews online right now. Our technicians do a great job out there and our reviews show it. We can say without hesitation, when you choose Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, you'll be glad you did. Welcome back to Seven River Sports. This week, the spotlight on West Salem High School with Noah, Jack Haley, Noah LaFleur. I talked to uh, head coach Justin Yang this week, and here's what he said about Noah LaFleur. Noah has played very well as our spur on defense. You can maybe clarify that for our viewers. He has been a dangerous weapon in our kicking game. Now, I can attest to that, watching him kick last week. He's, Noah has embraced his leadership role as a senior and is helping to develop future Panthers every single day. Yeah, uh, I think that, uh, or I like to think that that hits the nail pretty close on the head. Um, the uh, part in bringing 
bringing up more more Panthers and young, younger group into West Salem is always being inclusive, and I think you know part of that leadership leadership class um, is is being inclusive and in helping other people uh, in the upbringing of what we have. Good, Jack Haley is a shutdown corner for us. Oh, yeah. well, you're a pretty good receiver too, Jack. Thank you. A pretty good basketball player. I've never seen you play tennis, so I can't comment on that. But you're a versatile wide receiver who can get the ball and runs great routes. Mm. A lot of people are receivers, but running great routes is is something special. Jack's varsity experience has given him the ability to understand how to win and how to connect with multiple teammates. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. I've also been a part of that leadership class for the last few years, and just being a part of that, it's, like Noah said, it's a way to connect with all my teammates, and going off what Coach said earlier about lockdown defender, I mean, I gave up a pretty bad touchdown last week, so I don't know about that, but... To a guy by the name of Drew Brookman? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> yeah. He's about 6'5", too. And it's the only score that the Timberwolves had, though, last week. Yeah. I was, so don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, I was pretty embarrassed about it, but yeah. Luke Noel has been a peer coach because of his injury. You can talk about that quickly. An encourager since week two when you were injured. Uh, no one in the conference has seen him this year, so it's sort of a <laughs> coming out party coming up here pretty quick. Uh, next week and into the playoffs or this week. We know that uh, Luke's drive is, and his ambition is, and he's anxious to get, to get back and so are we. Yeah, when I had my hand injury in the central game, I felt pretty down after that because I knew that I was going to be out for quite some time, but I knew that I needed to come back next week and help my teammates win as many games as possible. And I felt like that was very important for us because I felt like that what made our team win, and I think that's very important for me. Luke Noel, only a junior, got a lot ahead of him. Um, your family, a big part of who you are. Um, your career, you're, you have a lot of time to go into, uh, into uh, your senior year, into an academy or technical school. Um, and um, you're inspired by Muhammad Ali, who I wa grew up watching, and your dad, but before we quickly address that talk about your injury yeah I broke my hand by I was trying to stiff arm a kid on a run and my hand got caught in a kid's face mask and it rolled and twisted and my I had a spiral fracture and it went all the way down my hand and you knew right away that it was a serious injury no I didn't know right away I thought it was just dislocated or jammed so I went on the sideline and I had my trainer tape it up real quick and then I took a smelling salt and I ran back out there. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I, uh, that happened to me about several decades ago, but it was serious too. But the smelling salt, salt. kind of <laughs> cured it at least temporarily. But you're good. You're uh, Muhammad Ali and Dad. Why yeah. is that? Um, they're really important to me because I feel like they're really hardworking guys, and I feel like. I'm a hard-working person, and that's who I strive to be, is being the hardest-working person in the room and everywhere I go. Here's what I like about you, uh, Luke, No, Your leadership, you define leadership as trust. Trust in you, trust in your teammates, it's reciprocal, uh, and doing the right things when no one else is watching. Why is that? How did you get to develop that philosophy and that uh, attitude on, fit, on uh, leadership? I think, like these guys said, the uh, the leadership lessons that Coach Gene teaches us in the off season really, really strives us and teaches us that we need to be like fully trusted in our teammates and being a leader and someone that can be trusted is doing what you like you want to be or doing, I guess, like what no one else is watching and like doing the good when I but guess no one is watching. You're one of the reasons. We have guys like you on the show because of uh, your character and your attitude as well as Jack and Noah and others. But um, I, I really like this uh, the, from you, Jack Haley, that your grandfather has been a huge uh, supporter and you're inspired by him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just put him down as my inspiration because, I mean, he's told me his story many times, but when he first started out working, he 
started as just an elevator boy at Harley and from there on over many many years he just worked hard and went back to school and just climbed up the ranks and I've heard that many times and I've just I'm he's a great person to look up to a humble beginning yeah absolutely but something tells me that you despite you being a gifted athlete you're a humble person yeah I don't like to I don't like to be in the spotlight, honestly, very much. You are in the show, though. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess. But, yeah, like I said, I don't like being in the spotlight much. I don't like being, I don't know what's the word, like, shown off to people or anything like that. I like to, I like to stay quiet and keep to myself. You're a good person, Jack. And leadership, make others want to and be willing to follow you, inspire others. How do you inspire your teammates? Um, for me personally, it's leading by example. I'm, like I said, I'm quiet. I'm not the most vocal leader, so I like to show my leadership by being the hardest worker in the drill or just showing guys how to do it correctly and stuff like that. So, so if I came to watch the pra came to watch practice, I would see you maybe as one of the hardest workers, along with uh, our guys going to come back onto the team in a little bit, Luke and. And, uh, and, of course, Noel LaFleur, who has a great attitude, too, in terms of directing people for the same goal. It's not all about Noel, it's about the team, and, and uh, that's the kind of person you are, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, once again, the, the leadership class that we take, uh, we all talk about a goal for the season. Um, and we all keep that goal in mind week to week, day to day, drill to drill. Um, and with with everybody agreeing on the same goal it makes it a lot easier to get behind it role models brendan holds along with some famous hockey players <laughs> uh yeah um once uh again bringing up that younger class once um when i was when i was the part of the younger group that's exactly what they did to me and they inspired me um to keep my head down and keep working something our viewers may not know about you. You you lived in Fairbanks, Alaska. Did you like it there? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said previously, um, hockey was number one. Um, that's what I grew up on. That's what I did year in and year out. Um, and with football, um, that was another big thing for me. Uh, we had a pretty tight group up there. Um, but I'm definitely glad I got the chance to come down here and move closer to family and continue my athletic career. This kind of surprised me. Something that we don't know about Jack Haley, he's a big Metallica fan. <laughs> like Metallica, I think, formed around early 1980s, something like that. Like, you just don't seem to me, to me to be the kind that follows Metallica. Uh, I just got that pretty much from my dad. I like <laughs> all 80s rock music pretty much. Good for you. Yeah. So, um, your philosophy of life to life to work hard and um, and make up for maybe a lack of talent by just being the hardest worker mm -hmm. on the field, on the floor, wherever, in the classroom. Yeah. What's your favorite class? Ooh, I like math. Favorite I, teacher? Um, Mr. Kepnick. Oh, he's a good friend of mine. Cool. Does he make you work hard? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's one of our basketball coaches this year, too. I know that, too. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that people don't maybe don't know about you, Luke, and I'm not surprised, you indicated in your profile that you hold yourself to high standards, very high standards, and you take pride in doing great in everything you do, starting in school. Yeah, I believe that everything starts with good grades, and you can't go anywhere if you're not trying hard in school because it opens up opportunities in life and later for sports because you can't go anywhere in sports if you don't have good grades in school. Here's a life lesson for all of us, and I tell this to my team too. Be grateful as someone is much worse off than you are. You, have you always thought that way? Yeah, I always thought to be grateful for everything you got because someone's always got it worse than you. And I think always being compassionate to other people is truly what everyone needs to be doing nowadays. Exciting for the Panthers as we end the season, again, taping the show on the 13th and uh, playing Holman this week. But then we're going to be following the Panthers into the postseason because Wiss Sports uh, has predicted uh, without uh, 
a hesitation that the uh, Panthers will go into the postseason. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a matter of this weekend finding out when you will play. But uh, we, of course, those of you that have watched West Salem in the past know that they are a playoff team. Mm -hmm. Went deep in the playoffs many times over the years. So. Anyway, it's been great to have you again. Our guests, Luke Knoll, Jack Haley, and Noah LaFleur. Thanks for being on the show, guys. Thank okay. you. We'll be back with some closing thoughts along with film clips of a recent game. With our busy lives, it's a comfort to know that we can still remember loved ones in a traditional way with a monument. Lewiston Monuments in Lewiston, Minnesota has been helping families purchase a monument for over four generations. You'll find a large selection of beautiful granite, marble, and bronze monuments, all at competitive prices. And they're a full-service company, so they also do straightening, cleaning, and repair of monuments. Stop in or call for a no-obligation consultation, or visit lewistonmonument.com for more information. You know, the thing I'm most proud of when I think about our company is the reputation that we've been able to build in this community. Our technicians have done a great job going out and performing magnificent jobs for the customer. And our customers have rewarded us with some really great reviews online. We have over 150 five-star reviews online right now. Our technicians do a great job out there and our reviews show it. We can say without hesitation, when you choose Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, you'll be glad you did. Let's start at Roger Herring Field on the campus of UW Lacrosse. High drama as usual, Logan at Central. Central opened the scoring in the first quarter, followed by two more touchdowns in the second. Logan then answered with one touchdown, 21-7 at intermission. Two more Riverhawk TDs in the second half. Two scores for the Rangers. Senior Ranger quarterback, Josh Waite, 16 for 26, 195 yards, while Two-way star Sam Beenstra, two TDs on the ground. Martell Owens, Zayron Boyd, and Johnny Lever led the Ranger defense. Central quarterback Mason Herlitsky, 190 yards and three TDs. Jackson Warren, also two touchdowns. Zach George and Ethan Shepard led the Riverhawks with 10 tackles. Logan closed the season with a 3-6 and six record. Central moves to 7-2. and two and will travel to MVC champ River Falls on Friday for the first round of the WIAA playoff. Final, Central 42 and Logan 20. While other crew traveled to Swanson Field for a Cooley Conference game, the Aquinas Blue Goals hosting the GET Red Hawks in the final week of the regular season. It didn't take long for the high-powered Blue Gold offense to kick into gear, scoring 24 points in the first quarter. Two more in the second quarter. Dave David Moline, two touchdowns and a two-point conversion. Jackson Flotmeyer to Colin Consimius and a pick six by senior defensive back Michael Leham. For the Red Hawks, Nate Schindler, a one-yard run and a two-point conversion by Warren Stoner. 40-8 to eight at the intermission. Junior Jackson Flotmeyer, a 25-yard pass to Jack Christensen and a fumble recovery by Preston Feehan as he rumbled 45 yards to the end zone for the Blue Gold scoring. Flopmeyer, 10 of 14, 183 yards and three touchdowns. Red Hawk quarterback Ben Hilton, 15 for 27 and 157 yards. The undefeated Blue Gold's draw the number one seed as they host Spooner on Friday night at Roger Herring Field, and we'll be there to bring you that action. GET ends the season 1-8 and eight under first-year head coach Jeff Wiseman. Final, Aquinas 55 and GET 8. Well, that does it this week here on Seven River Sports. I'm your host, Terry Erickson, hoping that you will have an active and a healthy week ahead.